it is definitely better to have and not need than need and not have. Ability to protect yourself can end a conflict that you would not have won. Today, we have a lady that was, uh, I guess she's the manager of a place similar to Awful Waffle. And one of the people that she works with is about to get a beat down. All right. But she realizing that she's her own first responder. She protects herself and her employee let's look at the video all right so you see the lady in the pink she's just there cooking and i guess her boyfriend comes in and decides that he wants to you know take out some frustrations on her all right let's look at the video so she's just in there cooking and there's the boyfriend bam hits her and boom you was not finna Get away with that. Nah, see? And he is a bigger dude. With him being a bigger dude, he could have easily taken out both women. Yo, but, hey, yo, the the force multiplied that a pistol is stops this. Yo, and she's like, uh-uh. No. No, you can catch these bullets. Yo, you want to come here with that? So here you go. Bam, catch her, and hey, put the brakes on them quick. Put the brakes on them quick, real quick. Turn around. You see that one of these can make somebody turn around and rethink what they trying to do. You know, so you, you definitely have to make sure that you know how to use one and make sure it's legal where you're at and make sure you you don't just fall into that i hate guns guns ain't good for nobody guns this that and the other well if she hadn't had one what would have happened he probably would have been beating on both of them all right so she didn't kill him she didn't shoot him she didn't do anything other than make him rethink what he was about to do so you have to be your own first responder in certain situations because the police come and take a report over your body uh over you know you there bloodied and beat all right so keep that in mind all right you gotta avoid the death trap and keep this on you at all times today we got a video where these guys just basically walk into a death trap there's no way out you you just either have this or you you got you, know, you might even get got if you have this if they get the drop on you. Let's look at the video. These are apartments and um, the parking garage is right outside and you got elevators. All right, pay attention to the door. Buddy, you know, walk on in, hit the elevator. They had a good night, so they out there talking. Dude, now, ride on up. Jack boys, boom. He just dropping stuff, start taking stuff off. Just comply. Just comply. Give, give it to him. Give it to him. He got the drop on you. Don't be no damn hero. Don't be no damn hero. Buddy in uh, yellow, keep your hands out your pockets. Let's, let's look at this. They in a parking deck. It's obviously nighttime. And... It's like, shoot, they done went all the way up to the sixth floor. So it's like you got to sit and wait for that elevator. And Buddy them probably followed them all the way up to the top. Yeah. So now they waiting on the elevator. Let me pause it right here. Their only avenue of escape is the door that they walked in and the door that the, the robbing crew about to run into. So if they, they were to get out, then they got to deal with the driver. So this is this is an absolute death trap. 
You know, you got to pay attention when cars are following you. You got to pay attention when, you know, just some don't feel right. Don't get so caught up in the moment. Then they run in on them. Boom. Right here, you see Buddy and them just give it up. That is your best bet. Just give it up. Get it on up. Yeah. That digging in your pocket stuff. You know. Tell him to take his chain off. But in the yellow. You know, you don't dig in your pockets, bruh. And as you see, the guy that's down on his knees, he hid something on the floor. Hoping that buddy them didn't see it. He hit it right there on his right side. Yeah, it's a pretty slick move. I feel you, what bro. What I'm trying to say is that you got to look at places like that and be like, eh, I ain't finna go in there. Or, you know, take a second while you in the parking lot to see if anything ride up. You know, make sure you got this on you. And, you know, you got to be fully aware of your surroundings. Yo, I'm not saying that even if he had this and they bust in the way they did, he would have been able to grab it. Yo, know, but if you do a little bit of surveillance, pay attention to, you know, what cars are moving when you're in the parking dead, pay attention to all that stuff. You know, it gives yourself a better chance. But if they got the drop on you, they did the absolute right thing. Just get on up. Just get on up. I need y'all to tell me what Buddy could have did different. All right, in today's video, I just want you guys to play Monday morning quarterback and tell me what the guy that got robbed in this video should have did different. Here's the video. Alright, we see the lady right here, the complainant, and you see the two suspect cars back there in the parking lot. So for some reason, they want to rob Shower. So they parking and they waiting her out. So here she come back out. So the Jack Boys pull on up. Now, she's over there talking to Buddy, leaning on the truck, and, and that's the guy I was saying, put yourself in his position. What you would have did if you was him? Buddy grabbed the gun from his partner, and he get very, very aggressive. Very aggressive. You know, Buddy's like, I ain't got nothing. You don't walk him? Slap him upside the head. So... She trying to fight for her bag. Shawty better let that bag go. And then they ride off. Now here's a different angle. He see everything going on. He look back at his phone. But he see everything going on. All of them got pistols. And then he come up. Tell him walk up. Hit him upside the head. Damn. Then they run in the store. Alright, so you see that Buddy saw it all coming. And I'm pretty sure it was happening in slow motion. So I just want you guys to tell me what you would have done. I would have had this on. But tell me what you would have done. Alright, so if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe. Johnny Snow about it.